listen to me when I tell you what you're about to hear is just so embarrassing. First off, I haven't even played the video yet, and if you can, if you have good vision, you can clearly see what it says right here on the screen. Kamala wins the black vote by singing Atomic Dog. And that's Ricky Smiley right there. In case y'all didn't know, Ricky Smiley is, an, is a Q-Dog or a member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. And their theme song is Atomic Dog by George Clinton and uh, the Funkadelics. I'm sorry, not the Funkadelics. I mean Parliament. Excuse me. Get my um, old school groups mixed up. Listen to this. Atomic dog, man. I'm tripping like. So I just interviewed uh, Senator Kamala Harris, and she said, "Atomic dog." And then she said, "Bow wow wow, yo, yo, yo. Ah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. She won me over with that. One. Make sure y'all get out and vote. No, that's, that's not looking terrible. That thorny. So y'all just heard that. Sorry about that. I almost opened up my Sony Vegas Pro on accident. But anyway, you heard that. All it took was. For him to hear Clown Mala Harris sing Atomic Dog, for him to say that he that she has his support. This is something that is not conducive to Ricky Smiley, but I'm finding that is widespread amongst a lot of black people. And it's absolutely ridiculous you have um when she was wearing the 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 uh tims which weren't even constructs oh my gosh she has tims on i'm gonna go vote for her then she comes down wearing chucks oh she has chucks on i'm gonna go vote for her she's an aka oh she plays aka oh i know i'm gonna go vote for her now she went to howard university oh she's an aka and went to howard Bet I'm definitely going to go vote for her. Then on the Joe Biden side, they creating these get your booty to the polls and these rap battles to force black men to go vote. It's like. Do any of you listen to the policies that they put out there or are you just drowning in symbolism, the pool of symbolism? I had made a statement maybe a couple years ago, maybe in the earlier stages of my channel being developed, that PC loves symbolism probably more than any other group on the planet. Fast forward to today, I need to scale back on that quote. I believe black people love symbolism more than any other group on the planet and this current election cycle is proof of that unfortunately ricky smiley her singing atomic dog is what got you to support her that's all it took i swear you have a lot of black people out here who um are just giving themselves away or giving their votes away like they're prostitutes. No, I can't even say that because at least the prostitute does get paid for their services. This is this is madness. But like I said, what's so sad is that it is not surprising. All it took was her singing a song that's conducive with your fraternity for you to go and support her. That's all it took. That's why I said I'm convinced that a lot of these people who say that they are into politics or they, you know, uh, are in the political realm in the spectrum. I don't believe many of them. Like if Ricky Smiley was to tell me weeks ago that he was like into politics. And I fast forward to this or I saw this, I would call his bluff. I seriously would. Like, what does her singing Atomic Dog or any song or her wearing a certain type of footwear have to do with policies? Ricky Smiley, she doesn't plan to do anything for you. 
when asked what was she going to do as far as reparations go for black people, which would include you. She talked and danced around that entire question and still didn't answer it when it came back around. Because she doesn't plan to do anything specifically for black people. And see, here's the thing. When black people ask what are people going to specifically do for them, they try to make it seem like we're selfish. But they'll let any other group who probably didn't even ask for anything. And they'll take up for them. I don't know if the academy or if immigrants or any other group besides black people born in America have asked for anything, but they are damn sure bending over backwards to make sure that they can go ahead and do it. I'm talking about doing uh, a balancing uh, balls on their nose like a seal to the to going as low as they can under a goddamn limbo stick. But we ask and we demand, we present plans, and it's still not effective. But you'll go out and you'll say you'll do this and that. Like Joe Biden said he's going to go, like one of his first orders of business, should he get into office, is I'm going to do something for the academy and immigrants. But then get mad at Ice Cube when he decides to go to the other side with his plan because they said they will meet with him now and the Democrats told him that they will meet with him after the election. Why would you wait after the election if one, you don't know you're going to win or two, you're going to win, but then said that your first priority of business was going to be other groups. These people are... Sometimes I feel like I am the meat in an idiot sandwich. Sometimes. A lot of times. But Ricky Smiley, you getting all giddy and all excited like you're like you're, like this is Christmas morning and you got the gift that you wanted and you're like three times you're like a, a little kid. That's 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 ridiculous. Ricky Smiley is like I don't know what his age is, but I'm gonna say he's no lo- that he's in his late 40s, at least. And he's getting excited because this fraud ass woman is singing a song. And that is what makes him want to go and vote for her. I cannot take these individuals seriously at all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments.